Uh, welcome once again to uh, uh, Arthur Brown Photography. Um, about a month ago I was discussing a uh, potential uh, computer build to build a new PC for um, video editing and uh, photo editing uh, on the Photoshop. So I've had some more time to think about that uh, and I've put a specification together and now I've uh, actually uh, bought the bits uh, to start the build. So today I'm going to run through uh, the bits that I've that bought uh, just to show you what, uh, what I'm going to use. So first of all I've got a uh, a, a Gigabyte Aorus B450 Pro. Uh, it's a gaming motherboard. It's it's uh, designed for the uh, AMD uh, Ryzen processor. Uh, it'll take uh, um, M2 uh, SSD discs and uh, up to 64 uh, gigabytes of um, uh, of computer memory as well. So, uh, alongside that, I'm going to run uh, an eight gigabyte uh, Radon RX 580 uh, graphics card. Again, that should produce uh, uh, give us enough. Um, uh, video memory there for uh, for um, using DaVinci Resolve. Now to power this, I've got a a, a gigabyte um, B700H uh, modular power supply. I must admit, this is the first time I've built a computer using a modular power supply, and it does help to uh, you know, reduce the uh, rat's nest of uh, cables that you get inside a computer because. You only use the cables that you need for the actual components that you've got uh, actually running within that PC. Because I'm going to be using uh, DaVinci and it's quite a quite a stressful uh, program to run on the uh, on the PC, uh, I bought a couple of extra uh, 140mm case fans as well, just to try and keep the thing cool. Now I've got a um, an AMD uh, Ryzen. It's a, uh, a third generation, so this is the new uh, Ryzen 7 type um, processor. Now, as well as releasing the Ryzen 7s, they've updated some of the Ryzen 5s. So this is a Ryzen 5 uh, up update, uh, which is a, um, a uh, third generation AMD processor. Uh, and it actually runs at, at, at uh, 3600 megahertz. Uh, and it's a uh, six core 12 thread processor. I mean, uh, you, you may remember from my last uh, video that the feeling seems to be that uh, DaVinci Resolve uh, will probably run better on uh, an AMD processor, a lower spec, a lower spec computer anyway, um, because it's got more cores. Um, and I'm trying to get the price down at this build. Now, in terms of, uh, of hard drive, I've gone for a um, uh, a Samsung 970 Evo Plus SSD drive. Now th this one is a um, it's a, um, a PCIe one because the that, the motherboard here will run PCIe at uh, times four. Uh, should give it pretty good performance. Uh, a few little bits and pieces. I've got a got a, uh, a cable split here so I can run. Uh, the two case fans from one one uh, header as well, and still keep the uh, the fan control via the uh, the computer software as well. So. Uh, in terms of case, I've got a uh, uh, a Cooler Master. Uh, it's a Cooler Master six hundred M case. I for a slightly better quality case. It's not too flimsy, uh, and the last piece of, uh, of the, uh, the puzzle I've got is, uh, is, is uh, computer RAM memory. So I've got this um, uh, ballistics memory. Now this uh, the, the motherboard I've got here will take a maximum of 64 gigabytes of RAM. And so I've gone for 32 gigabytes initially uh, and that's um, two 16 gigabyte chips which gives me the opportunity then to put two more in at, at a later date if I find that I need 64 gigabytes of RAM. The RAM was probably the, the most difficult thing to get hold of actually because um, uh, it seems to be, not only is it expensive at the moment, it seems to be in short supply as well 
and the uh, the supplier that uh, I bought the um, uh, the majority of the bits from for the computer didn't actually have this in stock, but I managed to get it directly from Crucial, um, who are the, are the manufacturers or distributors, uh, and they had them in stock, and they were quite a bit cheaper actually by going direct to Crucial for the for the memory. So that's perhaps a tip there for anyone else that's uh, thinking of building a computer or upgrading their memory. Uh, try going to the Crucial online store as you may get yourself uh, slightly cheaper memory chips. I'll say that's that, that's the, the bits I'm going to put together. Um, over the next few days I'm going to start assembling uh, the, uh, the PC uh, and I'm going to um, actually uh, you know, video the... Um, excuse me a minute. I'm going to vi uh, video the, uh, the construction of the, uh, of the computer um, and uh, I will put that on the uh, uh, on YouTube, was it again? It may help anyone else who uh, who wishes to go down the route of of building their own video editing um, PC. Uh, the only other bit of kit I've got is I've got a um, nineteen twenty by twelve eighty monitor. I decided not to bother with a four K monitor at the moment because <laughs> how many people are using four K video? I know it certainly I'm not. Um, you know, I've just just broken the only four K camera I had. And mostly, I was uh, I was downsizing it to uh, to uh, to full HD anyway. So, so for the time being, I'm going I'm going to go with a with a uh, an HD monitor. If I upgrade my camera, I can quite easily upgrade to a a 4K monitor because the rest of the uh, specification of the of the, uh, the computer is uh, is well capable of handling uh, 4K editing. So. Right, that's all for now, uh, and I'll be back uh, in a day or so, hopefully, uh, with the start of the uh, uh, Arthur Brown Photography new editing computer build. See you soon.